Ship Constructor 2011 R2 introduces a powerful new tool called Project Equipment List, or PEL. The PEL may be used to manage the master equipment list within the Ship Constructor environment, define electrical connections between equipment, insert PEL equipment into the 3D model, report and reconcile discrepancies between the design and the 3D model. Managing the master equipment list in the Ship Constructor environment Prior to Ship Constructor 2011 R2, the master equipment list was managed manually outside of Ship Constructor, meaning that disparities between the 3D model and the design had to be checked and reconciled manually. In Ship Constructor 2011 R2, the PEL helps to automate this process. The PEL resembles a user-friendly spreadsheet where users can record and manage information about equipment. Each row in the PEL represents one equipment part. An advantage of the PEL flat sheet format as compared to traditional spreadsheets is that the PEL rows consist of a variable number of fields dependent on the number of characteristics a particular equipment part has. In the Ship Constructor PEL, only relevant data fields are enabled for each record. The example here has all modeling taking place in a structure drawing that represents the aft portion of a ship. The goal is to insert two new equipment parts in this drawing, an electrical distribution panel and a fuel pump, and in the process illustrate some of the benefits of the PEL. If a ship constructor project makes use of the PEL to keep track of equipment, the process of adding new parts may begin by entering new records in the PEL. The PEL is available under the Equipment menu in Manager. This PEL already contains records for some equipment parts that exist in this particular project. When a new part is added to the PEL, it may be easier to create its record by simply copying an existing record. Each record in the project equipment list has its own unique set of attributes to ensure there is no interference with attributes of other parts. In the case of the fuel pump, the load attribute has been added to the PEL record, but not to other PEL entries. Values are assigned to PEL records by editing cells in the table view of the PEL. For the fuel pump, the power output is 0.75 kilowatts, the load is 0.8 kilowatts, the voltage is 480 volts, and the location is engine room. The next record created is for the electrical distribution panel. The maximum electrical load for this distribution panel is defined as 100 kilowatts. One of the essential attributes of all PEL entries is the associated equipment stock. This attribute establishes a link between a PEL record and the equipment library. Figuratively speaking, the stock is an instance of the PEL record. It shows what specific purchasable equipment fits the required characteristics of the PEL record. Once the stock is assigned to a PEL record, the PEL record transforms from a design idea into a physical object that can be inserted into model space. Both the fuel pump and the electrical distribution panel need to have equipment stocks assigned. Selecting the correct stock for a PEL item is the responsibility of the person who composes the PEL list. A convenient way to see what equipment is planned in a specific area is to sort the PEL by location. Defining electrical connections between equipment. In addition to capturing information about equipment, the PEL can define electrical connections between parts listed in the PEL. The ability to define electrical connections in the PEL will be the foundation for the cable routing functionality of the yet-to-be-released Ship Constructor Electrical Module. Each electrical connection is characterized with such properties as cable type, signal type, and the names of parts on each end of the cable. There are no limits on the number of connections that PEL items may have. To establish an electrical connection between the fuel pump and the electrical distribution panel, both items need to be selected and the New Connection button must be clicked. Both items must have a cable stock and signal type. A connection between parts is indicated in the Connection Status column. If the PEL record has valid electrical connections, the Connection column will show a green icon. Inserting PEL equipment into the 3D model. Once PEL records have been completely defined, parts may be inserted into the 3D model. In Ship Constructor 2011 R2, there are two ways to insert equipment parts, the Equipment Library or the PEL. If a part is inserted from the Equipment Library, the part will not be associated with the PEL. If, however, a part is modeled from the PEL, the part will then be associated with its PEL record. 
To insert a part from the project equipment list, the SC in PEL equipment command should be used. To show the difference between parts inserted from the PEL and parts inserted from the equipment library, the next object, the electrical distribution panel, will be modeled from the equipment library. Parts modeled from the PEL have the appropriate attributes filled in the OPM. Notice that parts modeled from the equipment library have the project equipment list attributes section blank in the OPM. This indicates that parts modeled from the equipment library are not associated with the PEL. Saving the drawing applies the changes to the database and automatically updates records in the PEL in Manager. This means that the PEL will know the modeled part name and the name of the drawing that contains the part. For dissociated parts, that is, parts modeled from the equipment library, this information is not available. Reporting and reconciling changes between design and 3D model. Model parts that are associated with PEL records can be monitored for discrepancies between the design and the 3D model. If, for instance, the design requirements for a fuel pump change, wherein the required power output has grown from 0.75 to 1 kilowatts, and the load has increased from 0.8 to 1.2 kilowatts, the PEL must be updated accordingly. When updating the PEL record, the new values for power output and load will be entered and a new stock selected that matches the updated design requirements. When the stock is changed in the PEL to correspond with the new requirements, a discrepancy is introduced between the previously modeled part and the stock in the PEL. There are several types of discrepancies that may occur between the PEL and the model. For example, Parts in the 3D model and their associated PEL records may have different equipment library stocks, as with the example of the fuel pump. Modeled parts might not have associated PEL records, as with the electrical distribution panel example. The most common discrepancy will be PEL records that are missing their modeled parts. This applies to the majority of records in the example PEL list, as they have not yet been modeled. Ship Constructor offers two types of reports to search for equipment discrepancies across the project, the Project Equipment List Report and the Equipment Stock Discrepancy Report. The Equipment Stock Discrepancy Report has four fields that show the name and the stock of the equipment part in the model and the name and the stock of the equipment part in the PEL. Once generated, the report will contain only those records where the two equipment stocks don't match. The Project Equipment List Report is much more detailed. It provides complete information on all records that exist in the PEL. The field Stock Discrepancy is used to indicate modeled parts which have a stock discrepancy with the associated PEL records. If the Equipment Stock Discrepancy report is generated in the example project, it shows the fuel pump which had the design requirements change. Project Equipment List Report, however, will output all records from the PEL and provide more detailed information. Ship Constructor 2011R2 offers a special set of commands for managing associations between the PEL records and the modeled parts. In the example, the association between the PEL record, which was updated with new design requirements, and the fuel pump that was previously inserted in the model drawing must be broken and a new relationship established. The simplest way to break the association is to delete the part and insert a new one. Another option is to run the SC equip PEL dissociate command on the modeled part. This command is recommended when the old part must be preserved in the drawing. The database will not be updated with the fact that the old fuel pump has been dissociated from its PEL record until the drawing is saved. The new fuel pump may now be inserted into the model directly from the PEL. After saving the drawing, the discrepancy resolution can be confirmed in the project equipment list in Manager. The set of ship constructor commands for managing PEL associations is not limited to only those commands that affect individual associations. The associate all equipment command is an efficient tool for creating PEL records for all dissociated equipment parts that may exist in the project. 
The command offers a quick way to transition a project into using Project Equipment List. Practically speaking, the command will be used in projects updated to Ship Constructor 2011 R2 from previous versions. If the associate all equipment command is executed, it will create PEL records for all equipment parts not associated with PEL records in the current project.